Hey, my name is Tremaine, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to launch your very own car rental website in less than 15 minutes using two softwares. So stay tuned. So the first piece of software we're gonna be looking at is Digitree.io. Um, now, Digitree.io is a website builder, and this is what I'm using for this website. Um, it's a bunch of different website builders out there, um, but this is what I use, and this is what I recommend uh, people use, right? So if you scroll down, you see there's a bunch of different buttons, um, and you know you have your menu, you have your logo here, and you got to pick a date, which is super cool, right? So you can pick a date, right? And then you click the search button, and it's going to go to all of the listings. Right, so these are some these are some like stock, you know, coming soon photos that you guys could you know put your own in there. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much you know that section right there. Then you come down, you have another section, pretty much just telling people how easy it is to book from your phone or from your laptop. You know, that's what this section is really about. You got your sub headline, and you got your your headline. Then you got you know some more wording to get them to buy now all of this wording on the page is gibberish right because you know when you're in your you know website you know you probably want to put your own make model year your own little description right um you know in this description as well right so when you get into the website builder you're going to have access to change all of this wording right and then right here you have a picture just to give you guys a understand on what you can put here um, when it comes to like car rental businesses you know you're not like a hertz or enterprise right you're a person and people trust people more right so this right here could be a picture of yourself so you know if you don't want to do that you could do you know put a picture of yourself or your business right but i have a setup to be um to introduce yourself as the owner right and like i said it's still gibberish on the page you know what I'm saying? If you guys, you know, want the website template, because this is a template, you know, you guys can grab the template in the description. But if you want a template with more copy, um, that option will be available. Um, and this is called copy. The wording on the page is called copy, right? If you didn't know that. And right here, you have catchy headlines, some more copy to get them to, you know, move forward. Then you have your testimonials. You know, you guys could, you know, edit these and take the picture out. Um, if you move in, if you're moving from Turo, um, a cool thing you could do is actually go to your Turo listing and then screenshot the um, the testimonial and then add it into here as a picture, right? So that's a cool thing you could do. And then you have your logo and then you have about us and, you know, your state and all that cool stuff, right? So that's pretty much the layout of the website. Um, and like I said, you can grab the template in the description. Uh, so I want you guys to see how the buttons work, right? So right now you have book now, see all cars, book now, right? So when you click these buttons, right, it's going to go to another, um, another software, right? Which is called Fleetwire, right? So these are the, dif the different cars on Fleetwire. So as you can see, these are like some stock images, um, which is what a lot of, you know, big car rental companies use, right? They put a bunch of stock images and then when you click it, then you can see like the other listings, right? So if we book now, you're able to see, you know, more pictures, right? So that's a cool thing you could do when you're, um, you know, setting up this other software. Now this software is called Fleetwire, right? So we're gonna go to Fleetwire. I'm gonna show you how the listings are put together right so I'm gonna go to one listing I'm gonna go to add listing I mean so you can put I usually put make model year um, so we put Chevy Impala 2020 oh, I think they stopped production of Chevy Impala's right then you can put an image right now as far as like images you know, I would recommend you guys to take your own photos. Um, but like the first photo, I would recommend you uh, getting like a stock image, right? So you can get that from Google, right? So you go to Google and pretty much just type in, you know, this right here. And then put um, stock image, 
right? And maybe put like colors, right? Because you know, different cards got different colors. Right here, you can put the year, you know, the make. Let me put 21. All right, then you put the color, put red, and you know, you can put plate number if you want, right? These are the most important thing you want. You know, some people put the plate number just so the, you know, the customer would know uh, what car to pick up, especially if you're using uh, something like a lockbox, right? Where everything is hands off, right? Which is super cool. Um, then you can put your pricing, put um, $75 a day, um, and then you will save that listing. Right, so when you save the listing, well, I'm not gonna save it because you know <laughs> we, we don't have a Chevy Impala, right? So when you save the listing, it's gonna pop up here. Um, and I really just wanna show you guys how to link everything with uh, the platform. So right here is the platform again. Um, this is on the, the builder, so I'm just gonna go to you know show the whole thing, right? And like I said, it's gibberish still on here. Um, yeah, so if we go back to the platform, um, as far as the buttons, right? So let's just say you wanna put uh, one of the cars here, right? So you'll put the make and model, right? Let's just do this for example. You put this make and model, you put it here, right? Put the year, then maybe you wanna put a description. Um, now, as far as the book now, right? I'm gonna show you guys in the builder. Right, so book now is the button we're gonna be linking with Fleetwire, right? So I'm just gonna go here to these three dots, right? Click open, right? And the vehicle is gonna pop up, right? So the vehicle, you wanna copy and paste, um, you wanna copy and paste the URL, right? So I'm gonna copy this URL. Um, you want to make sure you copy everything, right? Because all of these vehicles, they have an ID number at the end, right? So you want to make sure you're copying everything, right? So I'm going to click here, click back to the website, right? And I'm going to go to edit link. And as you can see, it's already in there, but you want to come here and you want to paste it, right? So I'm on a Mac, you know, command C is how you copy and then command V is how you paste it. Right, so that's pretty much how you add, you know, the buttons and then it'll link to the website on, uh, not website, but the software on Fleetwire. Right, so that's pretty much how you link up the buttons. Um, and then, you know, that's pretty much how you set up the, you know, the listings on Fleetwire. Right, so if you guys want more information on how to set this up, uh, you could check the link in the description where you can get the template. And then I have, um, something else for you something super special after you get the template uh, where i could you know show you a little bit more about fleetwire how everything is set up you know to automate your car rental business so if you guys like this template um and like how this is set up you guys could like i said check the link in the description um grab the template and then you can edit it yourself um and if you need help with you know writing the wording on the on the page right we could set that up for you as well Right, and one more thing before I leave. So we set up the you know button for the individual car, right? So what about these buttons here? See all cars book now, right? I'm sorry, I was about to leave you guys before I told you guys about that. So let's just go to we're gonna go to a vehicle, right? It's probably an easier way to do this, right? But I'm just gonna go to open. Right, and then I'm gonna delete that vehicle ID. Right, delete the vehicle ID. Right, and you're gonna see all of these vehicles. Right, so whatever your your uh, URL is with Fleetwire, you're just gonna put slash and then rental. Right, and we're gonna go to the website builder, and we're gonna link those buttons with that URL. So I already copied it. And paste it as you can see this is it right here um so you can click rental and that's pretty much how you do it right so 
right so yeah so this is done so all you have to do is you know put this url in and then you will be able to uh link the button to all of the rentals right so it's already in there right i'm just gonna refresh not refresh but go to this uh go to this template and if you go to book now all of the vehicles are gonna pop up right which is super cool so that's pretty much how you set up um you know the the buttons and setting up your car rental website uh oh one more thing before i leave uh let's talk about this section right here this cool section right here right so this right here you're going to get your very own uh search bar right because you're going to put your hours and all that type of stuff in fleet wire um so i'm going to show you guys how to get that search bar because if you go into the website builder you can't really see it you can only see it when it's live right so what you would do is you go to add widget right scroll down until you see code right and then you would just move it over here right and then just you know let it go right you're just dragging it and dropping it here right so it's already there right so the next thing you would need to do is the code right so you're gonna get this code is universal right so if you got a fleet wire account and you set up your listings and things like that it doesn't matter um you know who has it like if you guys want you can literally use this same code right here right so you just copy and paste this code in here and when you go into fleet wire um they will have that that code for you so you know you would just copy and paste right but the number one thing you got to make sure you have is this piece of code as well or right, so you go to custom code and you want to put this code at the head right here so this right here is an example um as you can see it says example right here so when you go into your free wire account right you're going to be able to get the code specific to your car rental business right and where it says company you know then it says example you're going to have your own like company id right here right and then when you click save it's going to automatically um it's going to automatically you know link up to your fleet wire account with all of your listings right so that's a cool thing, you know, to, to have on your website because a lot of big car rental businesses have that same type of um, thing on their website, right? The search um, for bookings and search for, yeah, search for bookings, like available dates and all that cool stuff, right? So that's pretty much how you set that up. Um, and then, you know, if you want to add some CSS, if you guys don't really know coding, you probably don't need to worry about that. Um, and one thing I did have to do on this on this template on this website, I did have to do some um, CSS. So this is gonna automatically be linked to the template, which is super cool, right? So you guys don't have to do um, a lot of coding or anything, right? All you have to do is drag and drop, right? So this right here is already set up for you guys um, because I had some problems with um, with this pick a date so what would I, I was running into clicking this right and this calendar was was showing up behind this like headline right here this collection of cars right so I had to put a little bit of code in there so it could you know appear on top of this right so you know that's a cool thing with the uh, you know with the this template that I have for you guys you guys don't have to worry about any coding right everything is drag and drop because the coding is pretty much already done for you guys right so like I said this is the end of the video I promise I know this video probably was long-winded uh, if you guys have any more questions all you gotta do is comment below um, and you know if you want this template you know you can grab the template for yourself and and yeah, and I wish you guys luck. Thank you.